Hey everybody, Ace Trainer Liam here and welcome to episode 13 of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Quadlock. We're on the beach just outside Slateport and we've got a few trainers to fight. Um, I've bought loads of soda pop, I've got like 40 something and of course I've brought Swoozy back to full health. Um, let's just go straight in and check out these people. Yo trainer, whether you're hot, truck, cool cat or not, chill at my papa's spot. Okay, let's just fight people. Little kids can dart around so quickly. Don't dare take your eyes off for an instant. It's very taxic. Mine's with my Pokemon. Should be okay, but... Hello, Mr. Sailor Man. <laughs> Battle with me. Okay. Is he feeling a bit sick? Oh, apparently he's an Aqua Grunt. Team Aqua Edmund. With a Dratini. I'm not that worried about Dratini, to be honest. But I like that we get the Aqua Grunt music. Here we go. Ooh, confusion on the Dratini as well. Answer me the question of the day, which is going to... Oh, got it. No, Spatial Rend? Um, yeah. Uh, it's going to be... Question of the day is going to be... This could go a bit untoward, but what's your favorite electronic device? Is it your computer? Is it your electric guitar? What is it? Is it some crazy robot that you've made? Okay, he's got a Whale Lord. Will I switch Pokemon? I'll send in Vivstar. Let's give Vivstar a go. Although we don't know what moves this Whale Lord's going to have. So, you know, this could be anybody's game right now. Uh, okay, Whale Lord. Hey, Whale Lord. How you doing? Exerting that pressure, are you? I'm going to use Stun Spore because it just seems like a good idea. There we go. Crab hammer? <gasps> oh, okay, 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 okay. He's he's using crab hammer. Let's bring Swoozy back in. Good try. Okay, we avoided the crab hammer. Do you know what? Just in case, let's let's take some soda pop. HP restore, soda pop. Come on, Swoozy. We use Soda Pop. That's absolutely fine. What's Whale Lord got in store for us now? Water Gun. That, that's fine. I'm not worried about Water Gun. And let's go for Confusion. Why not? Maybe we can hit. Maybe we can actually get Confusion on the Whale Lord as well. God, it's so bulky. Crab Hammer could be a crit. It wasn't a crit. That's good news. We'll go with the confusion. Hopefully the paralysis kicks in soon. That'd be great. That'd be really handy. Comet punch? Oh, God. Okay, well, five hits won't kill us. Definitely time for more soda pop. You can never have too much soda pop, in my opinion. That's going to throw 60 HP back on. Whale Lord's paralyzed. That's what we needed. So we're going to go in with the confusion. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, we did it! Nice one. So we get plenty of experience. Fifth star gets to level 20. And Nomad gets to level 32. We beat Edmund. Not worried now. So let's have a wander around. I'm thirsty. I could go for a soda pop at the seashore house. Yeah, well, I got all the soda pop. I bought all the soda pop. You can't have any. Butler Ricky. Butler Ricky's got a Celebi, though. But that's not going to be a problem for Swoozy. Because Swoozy's got Air Cutter. Ooh. Role play. So you're going to copy our ability. Which is fine because it means you can't use held items. Idiot. Beautiful. So we're going to go with Air Cutter. And destroy Celebi. Good news. Yay! We've got plenty of experience, and so now we've got two Pokemon over the highest level of Pokemon that will listen to us. That's worrying. But we need to, because we've got these friggin' Dratinis that know Spatial Rend, and Typhlosions that know friggin' V thing. You can have this! Ooh, we got Soft Sand. That'll increase the power of our Ground-type moves, right? Oh, I'm gonna be a servant to them, apparently. Uh, who else is on this beach, stupid Wingle? There's an old man and his zigzagoon. 
The water around these parts is clean. My zigzagoon still picks up litter from the shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins our rivers, which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. Well, that's true. Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? No, it looks like a bloody beach umbrella, you stupid girl. Let's teach this girl some sense. Hitmon top. Oh, I'm not worried about Hitmon top. Not at all. You can dance all you want, mate. It knows ice shard. Priority ice move. Oh my god. Okay, just take it out. Just take it out. It's gonna use ice shard again. But just take it out. Air cutter. One air cutter should do it. Two air cutters should do it. One more ice shard. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Oh man. This is serious business. Up we go with our levels. Fairy tale girl is dead. Idiot. Looks like a flower. Oh boy. Let's head on to Slateport. Yay! We can't we can't fish in these little tiny bits, but Hello sir. The beam from the lighthouse reaches for dozens of miles. I wonder whether it its light startles any of the Pokemon in the sea. The sea is just so vast. Could the sea have been made by a tear shed by a Pokemon? Why do you have to be so sad about things? Why can't you say happy things, mate? Let's check out Slateport. Let's check out the little, uh, the little bazaar. Do you know the TM secret power? One of our group members will uh, teach you it. Okay. All right, all right. I'm going to sell cute dolls. Okay. Oh, you're Swoobat. You've got to put more energy into your training. If you can do that, I'll give you Pokemon something nice. I'm the energy guru. Put all my energy into selling what you need. What? What is it? Oh, okay. No thanks. Hello. Whenever I visit here, I get carried away and buy too much. I, I know the feeling. Would you like some fragrant incense? No, I would not. I might, actually. Hoenn boasts an abundance of seafood. In particular, seaweed you get around these parts is fresh and full of life. Oh, okay. Shopping where you can breathe the scent of the ocean. Slateport is such a wonderful place. What you got? Welcome to the Travelling TM Shop. Home Claws, Thunder Wave, Struggle Bug, Confide. Uh, I mean, Thunder Wave... No, I don't, I don't want to spend $5,000 on Thunder Wave when I've already got Stun Spore. What fragrant incense have you got, Incense Lady? Oh, you have got Luck Incense, though. Which doubles prize money. That's quite handy. Eh, you know, there's that. Cool. Okay. Not sold, not sold. A uh, bit of trash there. Bit of trash there. Let's go heal up and dump the dead bodies. Whose house is this? It's the Pokemon Fan Club. Yeah! So much for going to the Pokemon Center, right? Hello. Wow! It's plain to see you lavish your love on your Swoobat. Oh, it's named Swoozy. Can I ask you a favor? We're in a survey. Would you be willing to answer a simple question? Yes. Great, thank you. Here goes. Just need a quick answer. When you first met Swoobat, what did you feel? How would you describe your feelings? Uh, Piss. How's that? You can't enter that word. How about that? Nope. What about... Penis. I'm so mature. Nope. Okay. What about B O G I E S? Bogies. I thought bogies. I see. Hmm. Thanks for helping me out. Chatting with you was fun and enlightening. Okay, cool. Bye. Hello. Do you know the Pokemon Fur Fruit? If you have fur fruit with you, I'll trim it with you for 500. No, no, no. I love seeing Pokemon that are friendly towards their trainers, okay? If you treat your Pokemon with love and care, they'll become friendly. When your Pokemon become friendly, show me. Your Pokemon is really friendly towards you, okay? What you give me? A Soothe Bell. Thank you very much. Yep, 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 yep. Stop saying friendly. 
Ahem, I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. Being the chairman, I'm naturally the most important. No one can best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one. In any contest, my victory is a foregone conclusion. But that would deprive others of their enjoyment. So now I while away my time examining the Pokemon of others. The contented faces of properly raised Pokemon. The kind of loving gaze of the trainers. My heart is overwhelmed. There is so much happiness. Oh my, excuse me. I seem to have natted on for too long. Please allow me to examine your Pokemon and see how it's grown. I see. It's not bad, but it's not good either. You, the trainer, must put more effort. Oh, okay, okay. Screw Pokeblocks. Pokemon enjoy having items used on them. Mine acted really happy when I gave it some protein. Stop trying to, like, influence me to use performance-enhancing drugs on my Pokemon, please. Hey, Sailor. Why don't I know the trick to battling? If you ask me, it's raising different kinds of Pokemon in a balanced way. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a sailor. Can I talk to you? No, I, I have to be behind you. Hey, girl, nice ass. You trade Pokemon with your friends, right? Pokemon trade is holding an item when you're sent out. Oh, great, okay. So let's deposit some Pokemon. Such as Samurai Jask. I need your item, actually. I'll, I'll get these items in a minute. And then you died and you've got a Silk Scarf. And then you died and you've not got an item. So let's go ahead and organize items. And we'll take that. And we'll take that. Thank you. I can't believe we have, what, eight deaths already? But actually, given the strength of some of the moves that we've seen, I, I can totally see why. Slateport, does that have a gym? Or am I completely wrong? I think there's too much going on in Slateport for there to be a gym. But I want to catch more Pokemon. Okay, you hope to see me again. I'll, I hope to never see you again, Joy. Hello, sir. Ooh, I'm just bushed. I hiked over from Morville. Okay, cool. I'd like a bike. There's some aqua grunts up there. I saw them. When the water is clean... Uh, some people just say boring things in this game. Let's go in this house. Hello. My Pokemon has a hasty nature. And has... Oh, okay. Yeah, nature has stuff to do. You need a contest pass. If you want to enter a contest, I do not want a contest pass. That sounds like the least exciting thing I could do with my life. When you sink a man-made object into the sea to make a habitat for Pokemon, it's called an artificial reef. We in Hoenn are known for our reef. Wonderful. Hello, guys. Look who it is. If this goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? What about that doohickey? I, I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm, you. I'm sorry, I'm dark. Captain Stern commissioned me to drop designs for a ferry. Oh, there's parts left there, the Devon part. This won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, could I ask you to find the captain and give the parts to him? I'll, I'll nip to the museum, shall I? You know? I get seasick. Wonderful. The reason seasons the weather, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the sea is like a living thing. I'm working here. You're rude, is what you are. Wow. Damn. Alrighty then. When I was a child, I visited the museum often. Are you Captain Stern? Stern, the fellow being in the museum, also happens to be the leader of the explanation team. Okay, cool. Please go through reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. It's £50 to enter. Wonderful. Uh, hello. I don't have $50, so it took a long time to get past the receptionist. We were told to assemble here. We did, but most important person isn't here. We are Team Aqua exists. Okay. I can do bad stuff using my power. If we stole the stuff here, would it make me rich? If our goon didn't boggle things up in Rustboro, we wouldn't be here. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. Yay, we got Thief. Nice. Oh, darn it. You screwed up our plans. I was going to steal something to make up for it, but just you wait. You'll get yours one day. Oh, he ran away. Okay. What is this? Nice ball. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Let's go upstairs and talk to some peeps. La la la. Yes. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold up a moment. We'll be taking those. What was that? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants to pass just in case. So should you yap and fork it over? Oh, we're taking you out, buddy. Team Flag Run. 
He's got a Squirtle. I'm not worried about Squirtle, mate. Come on, confusion. Ooh, Aquatail. Damn. Confusion again. I assume he's going to use... Oh, he used Hail. How bizarre. Now we're both going to get buffeted. Including you. Are you going to get killed by it? Almost. There you go. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. Enjoy it a lot. There we go. Bit of HP. EXP. Ooh, you want to learn Supersonic? Tough. I ain't letting you learn it. There you go, Vivstar. You can just not learn it. Yay, we beat a Grunt. And he is invisible, apparently. Ah, I got beat by a little brat. Oh, man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Sniveling wimp. Stand back and watch me. The 27th strongest member of Team Aqua. Take care of this kid. 27th strongest member. All right, then, Scientist Grunt. Bloody Selgor again. What's going on? Right, we're going to take it out. We're going to take it out with an air cutter. And hopefully it's going to be a one-hit wonder. Please, just one hit. There you go. Wonderful. So Swoozy's leveling up nicely. Caterpie. Are you kidding me right now? Little Caterpie. Oh, it's so cute, but it's so dead in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Not a problem, dispatching these Team Aqua members. Scientist Grunt, try again. He beat the 27th strongest Grunt in Team Aqua. Now what? If we don't get that case, we're in for it. Uh, I th never thought we'd be stopped by some meddling kid. Whoa-oh. Man, that suit's tight, right? What do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long just to steal a few parts and I find you simps getting beat by this kid? Heh. <laughs> That's quite a fierce expression for such a wee little scamp. That face tells me you're not just another mindless trainer, Brad. The name's Archie. A rough looking lot you see in here, Aqu uh, members of my team, Team Aqua. Sorry, I messed my words up. So tell me, boyo. Do you know that Pokemon people and all the life in this world depend on the sea for life? That's right. The sea is an irreplaceable treasure, every living thing on this planet. But with our selfish extravagance, humanity dirties the great ocean, destroying the source of all life. Day by day, we're destroying our most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions, well, maybe we'll end up getting what we deserve. But what about the Pokemon of our world? The Pokemon that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas. The Pokemon that won't be able to, won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow. We are creating a world in which innocent Pokemon suffer as a result of our actions, and that is something I cannot forgive. That's why I came to a decision, see? The fool, foolish actions of my fellow humans, the seas we have blighted, nature itself, I will return everything to its unspoiled beginnings. Heh. <laughs> It's not like me to talk so much. Never mind, a little scamp. I'll withdraw for now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again, and you won't walk away unscathed next time. Remember that, at least. We're moving out, lads. Wow. Scary man, right? Young man. Ace, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. You brought the parts from Devon. Yep. This is it. I can't be standing around here. Finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this and excuse me. Because I've just farted and run away. Oh, for damn it. Everyone keeps doing that to me in this game. <sighs> okay, let's, let's leave. And pretty much, I mean, we're all good now, right? Anyone want to give me items for, for saving the world? Oh, perhaps you like Pokemon. Oh, don't, no. Tell me something about yourself. Yeah, sure. You will? Thank you. Then please tell me anything of interest you experienced recently involving Pokemon. Poop. What an uplifting story. Definitely get your story on the buzz nav. Sea is vast. Okay, okay, okay. No one's going to give me any freebies, right? I want to learn about the sea. I get all giddy and gooey. Oh, you're getting giddy and gooey in a public place, mate. That's, that's frowned upon. When I was a child, you, you keep telling the story and I don't like it. 
Yep, you've told me a story as well. Wonderful. So what's the next challenge for us to face? Well, we need to get Pokeballs, actually, before we do anything. Before we go crazy, buy Great Balls. Let's buy 10 Great Balls. I'm so glad I didn't waste my money on Super Potions. Oops. Look at the Super Potion, right? 50 HP and it costs 700. And I've filled up on Soda Pop. We'll get 12 Great Balls. Lovely. Because we've got plenty of berries. Hello. Ton of convenience items. They all look useful. The market does have interesting merchandise, but there's some items you can only get a Pokemon, you know? Yes, I know. Easier to catch a Pokemon with a Great Ball than a regular old Pokeball. Yep. Yup, indeed. Well, I guess the next thing to do is to head to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And then we're going to head and catch some new Pokemon next time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, hit like if you did. And subscribe so you never miss a video from me. I upload them every single day. Oh, but until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training. <laughs>